Welcome to A Moment with the Mills. This is Barbara Mill. Thank you for joining Manny and me as we take time to have a brief conversation with our Heavenly Father. We'll let him start by reading from his word, and then Manny will respond in prayer. Here we go. Psalm 42, verses 6 through 8. Oh my God, my soul is cast down within me. Therefore, I will remember you from the land of the Jordan and from the heights of Hermon, from the hill Mizar. Deep calls unto deep and the noise of your waterfalls. All your waves and billows have gone over me. The Lord will command his loving kindness in the daytime and, the, and in the night his song shall be with me. A prayer to the God of my life. Oh, Father God, we are praying to you. You are the God of our life. So we can live in freedom every day. We thank you, Father, for the three verses here with great geography. We see, Father, the mountains. We see the, uh, the Hermon Mountains, Father God, near the Jordan River. And we thank you for the God that that is a source of water because in Israel there's not much water. But we thank you for the God that you loving kindness, which King David understand and have experienced it time after time. You are a loving, merciful God. And in our time of need, in our time of crisis, in our time of trouble, you always come through. And this is that time, Father. This is, this is that time. So we need for your loving kindness to be bestowed on us and to refresh us with the waters, Father of the Jordan, that you will send us, Father, showers of blessings to the church in America, that we will be refreshed, we will become stronger, and we will be able to be a credible witness for Christ Jesus and hence to hallow your name in greater ways. Will you awaken us? Will you refresh? Will you watch us? I pray to you, Father, in the name of Jesus, through the power of the Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. In today's portion of Psalm 42, the psalmist begins for the second time to speak to God about his current troubles. And then he stops to remember. He remembers God. And what is it that he remembers about God? That the Lord will command his loving kindness in the daytime and in the night his song shall be with him. He makes this then the prayer to God and recognizing that God is the God of all of his life. Even in trouble, Christians can rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. This is what Paul did when he wrote to the Christians in Rome who were facing difficult times. In the fifth chapter, he wrote, we also glory in tribulations, knowing that tribulation produces perseverance and perseverance character and character hope. Now hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Oh friend, it is our prayer for you today that you would know the love of God and have experienced that being poured out into your hearts by the Holy Spirit. <laughs> 